Whoop. I am weaving all over the place. Is that because I'm tired? I don't know. <laughs> oh, gee, what happened to that guy? On the road again. I know we've got a stop sign. I am going to blow it. Oh, jeez, it's wedged. I know, I know. There's a rest area coming up. Here we go. Just around this corner, there is a rest area, and that's where we're going. No! No! Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. I have gone and bought this nice Kenworth W900. Um, I basically realized after the end of the last episode that I could get a loan from the bank. So I borrowed 500 grand and I spent, um, you know, 130 of it on this nice truck. So I painted it nice and blue, added all the accessories that I can add um, because I'm a bit of a, a bit of a, a bling kind of, you know, fiend like that. I like adding bling to my vehicles. Um, so yeah, and I've got this nice Kenworth uh, W900 now to drive. All right, so the truck is running, the parking brake is on. Let me adjust my seat. Um, that's in real life as well as in the truck. Uh, there we go. Let's uh, go parking brake off and uh, here we go. Let's head out in our nice brand new. So I was looking at the second hand market as well and there just wasn't really anything that I was interested in. Um, I really like the classic look of these like older boxier trucks. These um, smoothed out kind of um, you know, aerodynamic looking things now don't really do it for me as far as the look of a truck goes. Um, so yeah, I kind of like, I really like these classic looking ones. So we're going to head off in our nice classic looking Kenworth W900. I don't know how old this truck is in terms of like model or year it was originally built or anything. Um, but yeah, we're going to head off 26 miles down the road. Test out our, I put an engine upgrade in this as well. So it had 370 as a stock, and then I think I upgraded it to 450 or 420 maybe. Um, is that a cop? No, just a, just a guy or just a person driving a, driving their car. Um, so yeah, I'm actually, honestly, oh, I'm tired apparently. Uh, why am I tired? Literally, I've just, oh, geez. Might have to turn that off, the whole getting tired thing. That's going to get annoying after a while. We got somewhere I can put. Is that a hotel over on the left-hand side there? Maybe. I know on the, on the right-hand side we've got somewhere I can sleep. So I think we'll probably do that. Um, we'll we'll get some rest, and then we'll get straight back into it. I oh, know I can't even go that way. <laughs> Again, never experienced what happens when you get overside in this game. I don't know what what the, the kind of deal is with that, but yeah. Can I go that No, I don't know if I can go that way. Oh, we can go 55, don't it? Let's go. 55. Oh, there we go. We're literally going over there. Yes, all right. Stop yawning. I get it. Yeah, I do like this. Uh, the look of this truck it is uh, pretty cool. Signals ahead. We know. Oh, too hard on the brakes again. <laughs> uh, am I going to need to get gas at some point? That's the question. Where's my fuel fuel o meter? Right, it is literally right next to the steering wheel on the right-hand side, and we are full right now, so that's good. Parking brake. So there's a, there's a train coming somewhere. I'm guessing yeah, it's going to be on our right-hand side there. There it is. Bowling like a freight train. Oh, there we go. We got a green. I was too busy looking at the freight train to worry about the green light. I think we're going to have to pick up the trailer, and I think the first thing we'll need to do is um, find somewhere to sleep, because I keep yawning. Right, where are we going? We're going in here. Oops, again too heavy on the brakes there. 
Now, is that just like a feature of trucks that if you do press a bit heavy, it'll just like basically hold the brakes down for you? I don't really know. Okay, here we are. What are you doing there, Carl? Just, just stood there doing doing your thing, okay? Well, I think we need to come here to pick up or to find out where our loot is. Bing! The trailer is ready to proceed to the loading area, okay, which is just there. Jimbo, how's it going? <laughs> All right, I know I'm tired. Yeah, the first thing I have to find is um, somewhere to sleep, I think, and uh, get some rest. Yeah, my the bed symbol on the the GPS there has gone red, so I definitely need to find somewhere to uh, stop and rest. Where's my trailer? There it is. Bit annoying. I can't see past the uh, the smokestack there. I feel like I'm kind of guessing on this one. Alright, uh, park and brake. Attach the trailer. If we all locked to anything, everything. Yeah, good. We're good to go. Yeah, I'm getting tired. I should find a place to rest. I will find... Oh, jeez. Else we go forward, right? Okay, so I think we're going to have to go around the stacks of stuff, maybe? No? Or we can... Actually, we might be able to come around this way. Yeah, we can come out this way. I hope we can come out this way. Okay, so we've got a digger. We've got a digger on the back of our trailer. Can we come out this way, please? Help? Yeah, we can. Cheers, Earl. Appreciate you. God, I can't see. I now can't see to the right. I can't see to the right. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going for it. I know I'm getting tired. I promise you, I know I'm getting tired. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. Offending every American person ever. Alright. So yeah, first thing we're going to do is find a rest area. Somewhere where we can sleep. Um, get a bit of rest. So we don't end up crashing when we, you know... As we're halfway down the highway. Go, 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 go! We are good. Here we go. Yeah, first thing we're going to do is find a rest area. Um, get some sleep. That could be a hotel or just a rest area somewhere where, yeah, say we can just get some sleep. That's what we need right now. If there's like a Days Inn or a Best Western or something around, that'd be awesome. I know I'm getting tired. I promise you I know. Yeah, and everything goes dark. Is this because I haven't, like, ended the game from the last time, from the last episode? I've literally just kept recording. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, apparently I'm really tired. Please tell me there is somewhere I can sleep soon, because I really don't want to end up crashing, uh, crashing the truck. That really wouldn't be good. I don't know what that noise was, but okay. Um... Am I going this way? Yeah, I'm going this way. I've got a yield, which means I don't have to stop, so I'm going. Here we go.
Hey, that dude's wheels weren't even turning for a second there, that was weird. Yeah, coming over here because I know I'm turning left just up here. I know I'm getting tired, I promise you, I know that I'm getting tired. Literally, as soon as I find a rest area, I'm pulling over. Whoa, brakes. We can go to Taco Kingdom. Go sleep, sleep it off in the, uh, the parking lot there. Whoop. I am weaving all over the place. Is that because I'm tired? I don't know. <laughs> That's just my junk driving. There's got to be a rest area around here somewhere. Come on. Help me out here. But I'm also not in a sleeper truck, so I'm wondering if it's even going to let me take a rest. How long we got on this anyway? Six hours, 48 minutes. What? Avoid sleeping offence. Uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> I mean, okay. Do I just pull over to the side of the road like this guy? Oh, gee, what happened to that guy? Okay, that uh, that cop car just buried itself under the trailer of that truck. Pretty sure it wasn't meant to do that, but okay. I'm just going to find a lay-by or something and pull over and have a rest, I think. Because it's just going to keep telling me that I'm tired and yawning. And I don't know if I can deal with that for the next half an hour. Or six hours, 19 minutes in game time. I know. Uh, let's probably ease off the gas for, for these corners, shall we? Oh, there's a truck. Sorry, dude. Well, no, we seem to be doing all right keeping it in lane. Yeah, I am literally looking for a rest area. Oh, the uphill performance on this thing is not great, is it? Maybe this is where a manual transmission would be really useful. So I can figure out, actually, you know, I can just drop the gear myself. Is that it? Can I pull in there? No. I'm literally just looking at the GPS as well, waiting for it to point out a rest area. Or to hit a highway where I find a rest area, but as it stands right now, I'm on this, you know, country lane. Was it the four, you know, Route 44? And uh, it's not immediately obvious to me if there is somewhere I can stop to, you know, pull over to rest. You know, I'm not going to stop on the highway. That's just crazy. That was a very janky turn. Oh, look, there's a rest area up there. I can see a bed symbol on the GPS. That's where we're going. That is where we're going to stop. What is happening to the road? Oh, it's because we've got lines. We've got, like, a paint marks on it. I see. Yeah, up that hill is a rest area. And that is where we're going. That... Personalised license plate thing in the windshield is right in the way. It's like you can't actually see over the top of it. I can't really see my position in the road because that thing's there. I might have to take that out. That's a bit um a bit annoying. I'll just move it to the other side. I know you can do your co-drivers um, plate as well, so that's pretty cool. Oh, taking that a bit wide. Don't need to take it quite so wide. We're actually doing all right. Staying in lane. Despite this uh, tight turn. Alright, we're nearly there, nearly to the rest area. That going uphill in this thing is actually really quite challenging. It's not particularly uh, good uphill. Which I would have thought, I mean, I don't know how trucks work, but I put a more powerful engine in it, I would have thought it would have made it easier. But then again, the type of, it might be the drivetrain. I've put in four wheel drive on this thing as well. Oh, dude, you might want to get out of the way. Yeah, there you go. I was there's a truck coming right at you. You might want to get out of the way there. 
I know, I know, there's a rest area coming up. Here we go. Just around this corner there is a rest area and that's where we're going. Closing, no! No! Oh my god. Oh Jesus, that... What on earth? That was so scary. That was ter Oh my god, that was... I didn't know ATS was a horror game. What on earth? Oh my god. That... Ooh, dear. I'm literally pulling right into the rest area, because that's... Oops, that's what we need to do. Come on, forward. Forward, please. Thank you. Well, now I know what happens when you don't rest in ATS. It sends you to sleep. Holy moly. Please tell me there's, like, a marker that I can just... If you are tired, you should find... I'm finding a parking spot. I don't want a disabled spot, though. I don't need a handicap spot, but this should do it. And now it's night time. That's okay, though, because I um, haven't done any nighttime driving yet in this game, so... Oh, there's a Warbird truck. Wait, are my lights still on? I left my lights on whilst I was resting. Oops. Oh, jeez. Alright, here we go. Headlights are on. Parking brake is off. Still got plenty of fuel. Do I need to eat in this game as well? Is that a thing? Alright, here we go. We're back on the road. On the road again. The other bit I'm not sure about is what time I'm supposed to deliver the job. Um, actually, if we go F6. Expected Thursday, 4.53 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Okay, no, that's good. I'm okay with that. And it is now 6.17, so I've actually got... I've still got four hours to go. Uh, I might just about make it. If I don't have any delays getting there. Because, uh, yeah, five hours will take us to 11.19. And we need to get the thing there by 11.30. So, 11.33. So... I know we've got a stop sign. I am going to blow it. Oh, yeah, everyone. Right, let's go. Let's go! Oh, now there's a train! Train! I mean, that's cool. I just hope I'm not going to be here for an hour. Because trains in the United States tend to be 10 miles long. Freight trains, anyway. Oh, no, that's okay. I'm good with that. Alright, here we go, and we're off again. Oh, it's going to be tight. I'm literally going to have 20 minutes to spare, assuming I don't have to stop anywhere. I'm literally going to have 20 minutes to spare when I get there. Yeah, 6 30. Look at the stars in the sky. That's cool. Nice clear night. So I recently moved house, like in the last couple of months moved house, and actually seeing the sky at night, there's not a lot of air pollution where I am, and being able to see the, the night sky is really nice. Um, and like being able to identify planets and stars, and I'm a bit of a nerdy stargazer, I guess. Yeah, look, you can see a little red spot up there in the in the left. I wonder if that's supposed to simulate Mars, I don't know. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, look. You're even getting, like, the, the nebula kind of thing that you see when you go star... If you've ever been stargazing, or how... Sorry, if you've never been stargazing, I thoroughly recommend it. You just suddenly realise how small and ins insignificant we are in the universe. Yeah, because we are surrounded by all of these stars. And, like, what you see at ground level through air pollution and all that stuff is really... It just doesn't do it, do it justice. Sorry, I keep moving around as well. We've got to stop ahead. Okay. Oh, break, break. Not too hard, though. Where are we going? We're going left.
Now, what does a flashing red light mean? Does that mean it's just, you know, it's telling me it's a stop and I have to stop, but I can still go as long as I stop, like a normal stop sign? Is that what it means? I don't know. That is one rule of the, the road in America that I do not know about. What's this sign? Trucks 20 mile. Well, I, I didn't read. I didn't get to read all of that. I have no idea what it actually said. Speed limit 35. Is that because we're going downhill? Oh no, it's just for that corner. Speed limit 45. No, I'm still at 35. Is that just because I'm a truck? Susanville. Go. Yep. Speed limit 30. Oh, jeez. Back it down, back it down. We got a bear and a plain brown wrapper. Back him down, back him down. We got a bear and a plain brown wrapper. Uh, we don't have a bear and a plain brown wrapper, but... Oh, I've still got to slow down because I'm going too fast. I'm probably going to get busted for speeding at some point. Yeah, I have to say, I'm actually really quite enjoying this game. It's, uh... Hoping this guy's gonna let me over. Yeah, we're good. I mean, I love driving in real life. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Um, like, I really enjoy traveling for work, you know, when I get to drive. It's just, yeah, I find it incredibly relaxing, and especially when you kind of get to see the sights and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's, but to bring it into a simulator and for me to then try and do simulated driving, um, I find very strange. Like I say, it's just a completely different experience. Then again, it's probably the same. Exactly, well, it is exactly the same with Flight Simulator. You know, I have flown before many, many, many years ago. I'm not a licensed pilot or anything, but I have, you know, been at the controls of an aircraft, and it's a really fun experience. Um, but playing it in Flight Simulator is completely different to, to anything else. It, it's just not the same and the same applies here in in truck sim or you know any kind of driving simulator i think like i say i'm not a trucker either but i assume it's a completely different experience but just the the whole process of driving is different it's like you know you don't feel the the road underneath you and i guess maybe you can get something like a you know a motion platform or something to, to cure that but I mean, as you can see here, just from talking, my head moves around a lot and the screen's all over the place. You know, apologies for that. If this is something you prefer not to have, by the way, you know, let me know in the comments. I'm happy not to use it. Um, it's just quite useful when you're, you're looking around. I can just look over, glance over the mirror, glance over that mirror. You know, I don't have to use my mouse to, to turn or use the hat switch to, to turn the camera view or have basically shortcuts set up to quickly look around there or quickly look over there. It's, you know, it's just quite easy doing it with my head uh, but obviously as I talk my head moves quite a lot as to my hands I'm very I talk a lot with my hands uh, so yeah if you'd prefer not to have the the smooth track running um, yeah just let me know and like I say I, I look around freely using the smooth track app on my phone uh, it cost me like £12.99 um, all it does is use the front camera on my phone to track my head movement um, and then that links to a, a an application called um, oh god uh, open track sorry that's it open track uh, which is uh, on the computer and the two talk to each other and that's how you get the and you can then link open track to um, ATS I linked it to Euro truck sim I linked it to X plane 11 when I was playing that um, I think it works in Microsoft flight simulator it's been a while since I used open track in Microsoft flight simulator uh, but I think it works um, you have to spend a bit of time adjusting it to like your individual head movement like so when you turn your head a little bit you you can actually kind of scale how quickly the the camera moves in the game uh, or else you end up like straining your neck because obviously the thing is like when I turn my head my eyes are still going to see the screen I'm going off the road here I still got to be able to see the screen with my eyes it's not like I can actually physically look over my shoulder just to, to look down the truck I've still got to see the screen um, so you, you can figure it so it works for you. 
and uh yeah it's a really great application actually a friend of mine pointed out to me you know a couple of years ago now and and he said oh yeah i found this thing called smooth track because he was playing flight simulators and truck sim and all that stuff at the same time as well and he said it was great um so i yeah i found it and yeah it was like 12 pounds 99 so what maybe 15 dollars in the us um, or whatever your local currency is it, it's yeah it's a good good little application it really uses the battery though because obviously it's using the camera and the wi-fi quite intensely um it's you've, you've got to yeah you've got to have it on charge while you're doing it i mean so i've got a a belkin um magsafe charger for my phone so i can just literally sit it there it the phone looks up at me while it's charging at the same time it's quite useful that way i think that was why i bought it um, so i could do that because i knew i've having used this application before if you start with a full charge on your battery uh you could easily end up um, just running out of battery in you know an hour because it's just it, it uses up a lot of power doing it so um, that's my advice if you get this and use your phone to do head movement tracking um, smooth track like i say it's great it works exactly how i want it to work um, without buying expensive like track ir systems or uh well i say track ir system track ir is the one i'm aware of and have heard of i'm sure there are other motion tracking um devices out there uh, unless you go VR, and I, but again, I don't know if VR is going to work in this game. VR is not something I'm really bought into. Um, I like to be able to see the controller as I'm playing or buttons I'm pressing rather than relying on virtual reality. Um, but, you know, never say never. Uh, I might try it one day. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's called Smooth Track. There's an application for your phone, then you link that to Open Track on your PC, and then you get the free head movement like this. So yeah, it's really good. Really, really good. Like I say, if you don't want, if you rather I didn't have it on, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, turn it off for, for the next one. We are two hours away. We're actually really well ahead of schedule. Um, I was expecting Reno discovered. Yay! Um, I was expecting that we would have like 20 minutes to spare by the time we arrive, but the GPS there says we've got two hours to go. That takes us to 9.15. That gives us over two hours to spare so i'm not sure how the time works in this game um what i do know is that you know this is i've got plenty of time to spare i'm not worried about it at all um, and i think we've crossed state lines now as well i think we're now in nevada where i can now travel at 65 instead of 55 which is cool so we're gonna i've literally got my foot to the floor trying to punch this thing as hard as i can uh, just trying to get up to 65 miles per hour I haven't really been concentrating on the road while I've been talking to you. I think that's really bad, isn't it? I, I'm almost at that point where I'm like, how did I get here? And, yeah, and have you ever driven down the road and then you kind of looked in your mirror and then there's no, like there were cars behind you, but now there's not. And you suddenly think to yourself, did I cause that accident? Um, that's genuinely how I feel sometimes uh, when I'm when I'm out on the road, when I, I know there were people behind me and then I look in the mirror and then they're not there anymore. And I'm like, did I cause an accident in that last roundabout or that last intersection or junction? You know, and it genuinely worries me sometimes. I think I've gotten better as the years have gone on, but yeah, sometimes you're just like, oh, I'm sure there was traffic behind me. They can't all have turned away, can they? Oh, we've got a sunrise over. Behind the mirror is a sunrise. Yeah, there it is over there. Look at that sunrise over the mountains. You cannot do better than that, can you? We're nearly there. We've literally got 45 miles to go. We're going to be there any minute. Okay. I wonder what it's going to get us to do. Are we just going to have to do a straight in to detach the trailer? Or do we get to... Do we have to do any more reversing? Because as we've all figured out, reversing a trailer is not my strong suit. Or reversing a truck with a trailer attached to it is not my strong suit. And doing it with a, a larger trailer, well, I guess it's not really a larger trailer, it's just, it's the same size, just it's not a box, it's just got a digger on the back. But as I say, we need a name for this truck, so uh, please let me know your name suggestions in the comments, that'll be great. Oh jeez, oh don't go off the cliff. Sam, how's it going? Oops, stopped too early.
Where do you need it? Proceed to the unloading area. Is that up here or down there? Is that up or down? I'm thinking it's down. I think it's down here. No, I think I'm wrong. I think it's up there. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be up there. Oh, means I've got to flip her around. Sorry, guys. Don't mind me. Hey, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you can all laugh at me. That's totally fine. I don't mind. I completely biffed this one. Oh, what am I running over? Oh. Oh, jeez, it's wedged. Ah, oh, for Christ. Oh, it's wedged. It's wedged. Oh, and actually, said there's a sign there that says this way. Question is, am I actually going that way? Ugh. Let's see if I am actually going that way. Oh, look at that! I can look out the back. Awesome. I'm really happy with that. Yeah, I can see the flag, and I think it is up there. But up where that digger is, I think is where I need to go. And then loop it back around, but. Honestly, I'm... Oh, no, I think it's... No, 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 no. We're going down this way. Ooh, I think it's up there. Yeah, there it is. There's our spot. Oh. I mean, coming around this way was definitely a lot easier, though. It, I would have had an absolute nightmare trying to drive that, you know, bring that up that way and then trying to spin it around. Wrong way. Oh, wrong way again. <laughs> Is that it? You happy with that? Okay, that's uh interesting Ooh, steady I just I do just want to straighten her out a little bit because there you go you're you're happy with that I'm happy with that let's stick her in neutral parking brake engine off decoupling there we go no, but there we go, we got ourselves an excellent 21 hours to get here. That is including a rest stop. I, I can't believe this game turned into a horror game. That was so scary. Like the whole screen going blank while the truck is still moving and I'm pressing the brakes and nothing happened. Like when it went back to, you know, the, the normal view, the truck was still moving and I was like, so clearly I haven't pressed the brake, um, which is really scary. Um, and imagine doing that in real life as well. That's truly terrifying. But anyway, let me know your suggestions for the name for my new truck in the comments below. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in the next one.